Hi, I'm Professor Figgy, and this is Kids Lab. Today, we're going to be making bubbles. But not just your ordinary bubbles, fog-filled bubbles that glow under black light. And we're going to be making those bubbles with a generator run by dry ice. Now, dry ice is the solid form of carbon dioxide. But unlike regular ice that goes from a solid to a liquid as it melts, dry ice undergoes a process called sublimation, whereby it goes from being a solid straight to a gas. But we'll get to that later. So the first thing we need to do is create glow water. I have a cup of hot water, and we're going to add the ink from a highlighter. Get into your highlighter by using a pair of pliers to pull off the bottom, and then shake out the felt inside that has all of your highlighter ink in it. We'll drop one in there, and then let's do the other. Two. And then you want to squeeze these around in the water. And as you can see, all of that ink starts to come out of the felt. And highlighter ink has a chemical in it called pyrenine, which is what glows under black light. Get as much of that ink out as possible. And this makes quite a mess, so that's why I'm wearing gloves. And then to get the bubble portion, we want to add simple dish soap to this glow liquid. So for one cup of water, I'm going to add six tablespoons of dish liquid. And we'll give that a really good stir. And then you just want to add a dash of glycerin to this. And there you have it, glow bubble solution. So to make our bubble generator, the first thing we need is a container like this. You can also use a two liter soda bottle that you've just cut the top off. Then you need a piece of half inch plastic tubing that we've attached a funnel to. And you want to make sure that the funnel fits over the top of your container completely. Then. Take a small portion cup like this, and you might need an adult's help for this. Cut a little X in the back so we can insert the other end of our hose into the cup, like so. And this is where we're going to be blowing the bubbles from. Take your container, and we're going to fill it with tonic water. And the reason we're using tonic water is because tonic water also glows under black light, like our bubble solution, because it contains quinine. And fill this up about a couple inches in your container. Get some dry ice into our container here. Be careful with the dry ice. You don't want to touch it with your hands because it's so cold, it will actually burn you. There we go. And then bring over your bubble solution. Pick up your bubble wand. Dip the cup in the solution. And then cap the top with your funnel and start blowing bubbles. And as you'll notice, the bubbles sink down onto the towel. And it's because carbon dioxide actually weighs a lot more than air does. And with the water vapor fog that's coming off as it's sublimating in the generator, it's blowing these fabulous bubbles. Aren't these amazing? There we go. And now that we've done this in regular light, wait till you see what it does under black light. So here we are in our very special glow booth under the black light. Let's see what our bubbles do. And as you'll notice, oh, look at that. The quinine under the black light is glowing blue. And our highlighter water with the pyrenine in it is glowing a bright green yellow. And then there are bubbles have their little glow edges to them. Now the reason that the pyrenine and the quinine glow under the black light is because they contain phosphors, which are chemicals. They absorb the UV light that comes out of the black light and then re-emit it as visible light that we can see with our eyes. And weren't those bubbles amazing? Now, let's review what we learned today. We learned that the solid form of carbon dioxide is called dry ice, which undergoes the process of sublimation when it warms, changing directly from a solid into a gas, forming the fog that was inside our bubbles. And the tonic water and the bubble solution both glowed under black light because they contain chemicals known as phosphors. Thank you so much for joining me in the lab today. I hope you had a lot of fun. I know I did. And please, share videos and photos of your Bubbles experiments on Facebook and Instagram.